Imagine you are playing football and you get injured. You go to your doctor and the first thing you will be asked to do is an X-ray scan. Why? Because X-rays are invisible radiation with extremely high energy. It can pass through your skin and, mod in skin and muscles but get absorbed by metals like uh, calcium in our bones. So any fracture or damage in the bones can be detected without even operating the skin and muscles. Thanks to our technological advancements, we can produce these X-rays in our laboratories. But very interestingly, just about 60 years ago, when we looked beyond unre unrevealed universe outside our galaxy by X-ray telescopes, we found that X-rays are coming almost uniformly from all directions of the sky. Dr. Giacconi was awarded Nobel Prize in 2002 in physics for this discovery. Astrophysicists gave these X-rays a very sweet name, cosmic X-ray background radiation. Now the questions are, where are they coming from? How are they produced? The, the answer to these questions are still not clear enough, but scientists have progressed a lot in the last few decades. Through deep and wide surveys of the sky by X-ray telescopes like Chandra, XMM Newton, New Star, Swift, we have found that 80% of these X-rays come from a very special type of galaxy called active galaxy. The aim of my thesis is to study these active galaxies, not only to know about X-ray sources, but also to overall understand the galaxy evolution of the universe. These galaxies are called active because they have thousand to million times brighter galactic centers compared to normal galaxies like our Milky Way. At its center, it has a super massive black hole which is over billion times more massive than our sun. Its strong gravity swallows nearby gas and throws out radiation in optical and X-ray band. Most of these active galaxies remain covered or obscured by thick dusty clouds consisting of metallic compounds forming a donut-like shape as shown in the slide. Just like calcium in our body, these Clouds absorb a lot of X-ray emission coming from the center along with optical radiation and emits infrared radiation. Uh, even though these dusty clouds obstruct a lot of view on these active galaxies, but still we can get to know about their complicated structure and X-ray source by jointly studying their X-ray and infrared data. I am currently working on this analysis. Nevertheless, a lot of these X-rays, these X-rays and these active galaxies still remain undiscovered by old telescopes. So we are eagerly waiting for new generation of telescopes to study this process. Universe has kept a lot of mysteries on this process. So it's our turn to solve it step by step. 